Welcome back everyone to another video. Like I promised, in this video we are finally getting the mini split installed and working. Last week I know we focused on getting the indoor unit installed and the plenums made, but now we're going to focus on the outdoor unit and getting the lines installed from the indoor to the outdoor unit and then getting all the electrical done so that the whole unit is done and in working condition. So I had to find a space for the line set. I knew I was going to go along the side of the bus and down here I needed to drill a hole for the line set to go from the inside unit to the outside unit. So after I drilled the hole, I found this plastic piece that came with the unit itself to make sure it didn't get scratched going down from the inside to the outside. Next was making sure I straightened out the line set without ruining it. So I just straightened out piece by piece being very slow with it to make sure that nothing kinked. After the line was straightened, I decided to start putting it through from the inside of the bus to the outside of the bus, making sure that it didn't get scratched on anything or nothing got inside the line set itself. Then I needed to slowly move it towards where the unit was going to be placed underneath the bus to make sure I had enough of the line set through. After it was pulled through, I went inside to start connecting the inside of the line set and making sure not to strip anything. After both small line and the big line were both connected to the inside unit, I had to tighten them up, making sure not to strip anything and making sure that nothing was going to leak after they were connected. After the two line sets were installed, I decided to start hooking up the electrical. This is a look at the electrical inside of the indoor unit. It was just four wires, a red, black, white, and green wire to connect on the inside. That was pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Then I followed up by reinstalling the cover for the electrical to make sure that was all secure. Here's the outdoor unit, and it's got one, two, three, and four mounting spots. After I figured out the dimensions, I started cutting the metal that I needed to make the actual bracket to mount the outdoor unit to the bus underneath. So this is the basic layout of the bottom of the frame. So the outside unit will sit and bolt to this. So I need to put it on, measure the distance between these two, and then center it on here. And that way I can make the marks for here on where it's going to get welded and then bolt it down. I was able to measure exactly where it needs to be so it's 12 and a half inches out from that side. This will be the part that goes up and bolts to the frame rail and then I also was able to measure and mark these holes on the front. I'll measure for these ones over here and then we can start drilling them. So here is me drilling the actual holes that the unit will mount to on the outdoor bracket before we started welding. I was lucky enough to have a good friend and a great welder come over to weld. So here is the bracket all welded up and complete. The next thing was actually putting it up and this is the spot underneath the bus that we were going to mount it right here, right past the back wheel. We mounted it up to make sure everything fit and after we mounted it up and secured it along the frame rails, we decided to paint it matte black to kind of match everything, blend in and make sure that it didn't rust from any of the elements of the road or just weather in general. So here is myself putting the unit up and I struggled a little bit just because of the space that I had in there so I did have a little help and what we needed to actually do was kind of loosen the brackets for the mount itself and that way it was able to kind of lean a little bit towards the bus and we were able to slide the unit in and get it mounted onto the bracket itself. Here it is mounted, there's a lot of clearance on both sides making sure that there's enough airflow for the unit. So now we move on to installing it and hooking everything up. After the line set was installed, I decided to pull vacuum on the line set itself. This was to pull any air out of the system so that when we started it up, it was fine and the Freon could flow smoothly through the system. It was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be and after we got that set, it was hooking up the electrical to the unit. So the electrical from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit and I needed to drill a hole to make sure it went up into the bus and then all the way from the back of the bus here with this wire up to the front where the electrical plug was going to be. So what we have here is a step up or step down transformer. And the reason I have this is because the multi plus that we have is 120 volts, but the AC unit, the mini split is 220 volts. So I need to use this transformer. It's a 5,000 watt transformer and I'm going to plug it in to a normal outlet in the bus and then it will step it up to 220 volts. That's where we'll use the wire that we have going to the actual unit itself for the air conditioning. And we'll plug that in with this 
15 amp, 250 volt plug. So we're gonna wire this up, plug this into there, and then once this is plugged into a regular outlet, we should have 220 or 240 volts going to the mini split. The plug is all wired up. So it would plug into, like I said, to the 220 here, and then the back side of it plugs into an outlet. So let's plug it into the outlet first. So we have it here, plug it in. And on the back side, we make sure that the input right here is switched to 110 or 115, which it is. And then here is the mini breaker on here. So we'll flip this on. And then the last thing we have to do is plug in our plug. So I'm just gonna plug it in. And we are back at the AC unit and it's on. Turn the power on. There we go. I can hear the outdoor unit. Not sure how much you can see, but I'm gonna put this up to the unit. You can see it is blowing out air. And it is hot air because we have this on the heat setting. Pretty warm, actually. So with the unit actually installed and in working condition, I would say that this video is a wrap and we got done what we wanted to. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video.